Um, thank you for listening to my presentation. It's, it's been a great attendance and I really appreciate it. I've had a few questions come through, um, so I'll answer them. First one came through was, will I share the presentation? Absolutely, I have everyone's uh, email address and contact details, so we'll send that um, out probably tomorrow, uh, would be the best case. I've had a question, are you able to export the new blast boundaries in a format that can be imported to the mine design software using stochastic model? Absolutely, so currently it's in Excel format, so you can export it as CSV, a text file. Um, I'm pretty sure every mine design software package can can take them back in as in that format. Um, do references contain additional validation of the results of the three D stochastic modeling? Uh, no, so it doesn't. So I did this stochastic model as part of my um, thesis. Um, so that's as far as it's been developed at this point. So ideally, I would love to take it out in the field and actually. Um, validate the model uh, apart from just desktop calibration um, and a couple of sites that I've visited. So it's definitely a work in progress. Can you throw some light on how the decking affects blast movement? Uh, okay, so in terms of explosive decking, I guess. Um, I don't really, unless you're going to go down to the definition of measuring blast movement on flitches, like more than two or three flitches. If you're just measuring bulk movement um, in mid-bench region of the blast, unless you have some pretty inventive decking, I, I can't imagine it would influence it too much. As I say, you're still measuring the blast movement using the method that you apply in the BMMs or the stakes or the models. Um, as long as you're not changing too much between blasts, it, it shouldn't really impact anything there. Um, uh, in order to calibrate the magnitude of the blast, do you need to implement a seismograph monitoring in the mine? Um, not really, that would be handy. It's just extra data you could um, to measure. To, to, to calibrate the model, all you really need is actual measurements. So if you're using BMMs or you're using stakes, it doesn't really matter if you have actual measurements to then cal back calibrate to the model um, to give you some confidence on what the model's predicting, that's all you really need. Uh, so I think that's all the questions I had, unless there's any more um, that I accidentally skipped over, but um, if that's it, um, thank you very much for, for listening to my presentation and I will send out the presentation um, tomorrow. So I've got one more, one more, um, webinar this afternoon for the different time zones, so feel free to jump in again if you want to again, but um, after that I'll send out the, the presentation. Okay, thank you very much everyone.